Okay, let's put this out of the way. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. Oh, All right, over here we have uh, this. Yeah, that's right. It's the Edward Spitfire. And at first I wanted to show you uh, how much detail we are not going to be uh, sanding away. In the wing root area. This kit hasn't gotten any easier. It's just that the pain is lessening with time. <laughs> I might recommend it to somebody, but I, they'd hate me. Okay. It's important to understand with this uh, gluing the wing tops to the fuselage type uh, methodology that you're going to end up with a gap. But instead of the gap or the misalignment being along the wing route, instead of it being along the wing route there where it's now nice and Everything in here looks really good. That's really uh, looking fine. However, on just about any kit, from the oldest Airfix to the newest uh, Edward, we're going to have this gap here. Now, in this particular kit, the gap goes up here, but that just happens to be a sort of a coincidence. Fundamentally, the gap is along here, right in there. It can be, it could extend all the way out here, but almost every case the gap is right there. You can see it just needs a little filler. Take care of it. Just needs a little filler right in there. And your problem is solved, and you end up with this beautiful joint at the wing root. And uh, it is important to understand that if you should get a bit of uh, cement on the surface of the model, just don't touch it. Let it dry. If you let it dry, you're going to end up with... Um, it'll look a little shiny, maybe, but it's not going to hurt it. Once you get a coat of paint on there, you'll never know what happened. The key thing about this kit is that the assembly is a bear. Uh, but once it, you get it together, it's pretty cool. I kind of had my ultimate moment of uh, doubt and pain with these ailerons. I just finally threw in the towel. I said, come on now. I do think it says something important about Edward's whole business model and their philosophy that they make, they give you independent, not independent, um, separately molded uh, ailerons and the vertical, or rather the um, the rudder is separately molded. But the one thing that really ought to be separately molded, molded are these elevators. The elevators droop in the vast majority of cases with a Spitfire or any other airplane from this era. Because you push the stick forward to get your feet out of the cockpit. So when you push the stick forward, the, the elevators droop down. Now, what does it indicate about Edward that they didn't include this particular part of the airplane? The rudder is centered. The rudder is not generally centered. So are the ailerons, although in this case they're not. I've just, I just gave up on that. Just make sure one of them's up and the other one's down. They go in the opposite directions. The ailerons do not go in the same direction. One goes up, the other one goes down. That's how it always works. And the rudder is a little off-center, not because I chose it, but because I just got fed up. But these babies, which should be drooping, really, if you want it to look candid, these things are molded in good and tight and straight. Come on.
the one part of the thing, the one part of it that should really be separate is molded to the horizontal stabilizer. Edward either doesn't understand how airplanes work, <laughs> which I wouldn't be surprised about, or they just don't care. I don't know. I don't know what you make up your mind. Anyway, in many ways, a beautiful kit. Look at that surface detail. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Next time around, we're going to paint it. Thanks for stopping by. And this is the part of the video where if you're an old person, okay, let's face it, we're all old guys. We're watching this maybe on television. And if you don't know that you can do that, you can go to, you know, you can get YouTube on streaming. Yeah, this is the part where you give me a thumbs up and subscribe on the TV. Because <laughs> you have to, it takes time to do that. You know, you got to find a remote and everything. Okay. Okay, that's enough time. That's enough time. We'll see you later.